And good morning, Rollo. We're at the Rock Church. This weekend is a big event called the Superfest. It's how your kids can hang out with professional athletes and have some clinics, too. We'll preview that coming up. Put them up, put them up. Brad Will has moved locations. Now he's hanging out with pro athletes. He's, he, you know, he he's, can cover anything. Yeah, he's everywhere. Yes. Okay, he joins us from Point Loma to preview a big event at the Rock Church this weekend. What's in your hand, Brad? That is what we call, Shelly, a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you watching at home? And this is, and speaking of baseball bats, this is Nick Hundley's. He's right there, the Pottery's catcher. He's hanging out with us this morning because there is a big event coming up this weekend at the Rock Church. It's their annual Superfest, and as a, as a kid, if you're watching this at home or parents you're watching this at home, you know as a kid, this is a dream come true because this is a chance for kids to hang out with their favorite athletes, professional athletes, get one-on-one -on -one coaching. They have clinics going on. They've got a ton of stuff going on this weekend, but it's very important that they want to spread a message. The guy that's going to talk about what's going to happen this weekend is Marcus with the Rock Church. You got to tell me, because as I said a minute ago, if I was a kid and I was watching, this is a dream come true to hang out with guys like this. You know, it, it is, Brad. It's a dream come true for me. I mean, it's a great event that's happening this Saturday at Point Loma. Other guys to join us are Adrian Gonzalez, uh, Allison Felix, who won three gold medals, Daryl Stuckey. There's another handful of Chargers, Padres, fighters, you name it. It's happening, a free event for, for, for all Every kids. sort of sport you can think of, baseball, boxing, you've got an MMA fighter, you've got football. So any kid that's watching is in, in, in the, any of those sports, get a little one-on-one -on -one training. Absolutely, and, and for all ages. You know, we're working with some younger kids right now, but it, it's for, for, we've got jumpies for the little kids, all the way up to elite high school athletes that'll be there participating. And why do you guys do something like this? What, what's the reason behind it? You know what, a lot of these guys who we've, we're friends with, you know, they've reached the highest level in their sport, but also in life, it's important for them to, to get as 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 highest level in their life as can as possible as mm -hmm. far as living their life effectively and being champion not only on the field but also off the field. I'm gonna talk to Nick. Okay, so great. That champions off the field and on the field. Hey, Nick, what's happening, man? Oh, just hanging out at the Rock and you're gonna be out. Super yeah, fest. you're gonna be out there this weekend at the Superfest. So yeah. What what do you take away from this and what do you want to pass along to the kids? Oh, just how to every day uh, be involved and uh, <laughs> and live and play like a champion every day and uh, and come away from it knowing that uh, there's people that, that believe in you and back you and, and uh, that are in the community for you. Did you ever have anything like this when you were a kid where you got to go out and hang out with guys like you? You know, my dad was a college football coach, so I was fortunate enough to be around a lot of college athletes, but never professional athletes. Um, and uh, we used to go to games all the time and, and uh, want to be like them and, and wish we could be around them, but uh, we never were. So it's, it's amazing the opportunity now that, uh, that The Rock uh, gives us to, to go out and give back. That's pretty cool. So what are you going to do, be doing with the kids this weekend? Oh, whatever. We're going to do some catching stuff. We're going to do some fly balls, some ground balls, and uh, we're going to sit down and talk to them a bunch. So it's, All right. a, it's a, great, a great time. Good talking to you. Thanks for hanging out this morning. All right, we're going to go to another professional athlete right over here. Yeah, this is the guy right here. Yeah, put him up. Professional boxer Chris Bird, uh, Olympian. You're going to be out here this weekend. So we went from the baseball to the boxing. Yeah. You're going to show the kids what it takes you know, to maybe to get in the ring and build some self. And where to, where to you know, play on and uh, I wouldn't <laughs> for say you, court. Yeah. I wouldn't say court. In the ring. ring. <laughs> right. You know, for me, it was ring. But, you know, how to live outside the ring, how to live your life, a good, clean life. You know, we represent the Rock Church, so it's always good things. And anyway, well, what did you, uh, what were you in a kid? You, you obviously were boxing. What, what got you into boxing? My father. Your I'm, father. I'm the youngest of eight kids, five boys, three girls. So boxing was a household, I mean, was a household thing. We even had a dog that was a boxer. So. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. All right, so you came up and you were boxing, but it wasn't yeah. it wasn't an easy sport to get into, as we talked about. No, not at all. When I got older, after Olympics, it was pretty hard. You know, just the business of boxing, professional, the professional level, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty tough. I mean, I grew up, you know, coming out of the Olympics with a silver medal. I came up with just uh, pretty hard. It was tough. Pretty tough. Yeah. All right. So what are you going to be doing with the kids this weekend? Are we are we setting up a ring out here? Are we putting on gloves? What's going I on? Don't Chris? Think, I don't think we'll have a ring, but you know, you have you know professional athletes coming out, um, you know, sharing time, sharing you know tips, secrets, and how to live and play like an athlete. Okay. So at the highest level. So it's it just taking our time out and giving back to the kids, and like I said, representing the Rock Church. It's always a good thing. And the best of all, it is free. It yeah. is free to come out and hang out with you guys on uh, on Saturday. So yeah. if you want more information at home, if you're watching right now, fox5sandiego.com, we put a link onto the website if you want more information about who's going to be here and what's going to be going on. Click on that scene on tab, guys, with Rock Church in Point Loma. Wow. We'll 
Toss it back to you. Yeah, how cool yeah, is that? Yeah, I'm you, that, that? That one kid, man, he was working on that jab. You see him working the jab yeah, with yeah. the left? Oh, jab this one right here? Yeah, jab, look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, he was, uh, 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 now he's doing, uh, yeah. He was uh, working uh, that jab. One, two, one, two, right there. One, two, one, two, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid, harder. Right there you go, kid. Keep going, keep going. He's like, uh-oh. What'd I do? Doing the play-by-play -play with the sound effects. <laughs> Good work, buddy. Go ahead, take one shot. One shot. Oh, uppercut. Oh, oh that was a. Brad. That was a. That was a something oh, else. Oh yeah. That was one of those. Uh, Where's Brad? Is he let's on call the floor? that a back slap. <laughs> it's like. <whoosh. laughs> oh, that was enjoyable. Eight thirty-two. Thank you, Brad Wills.